A thriller here in Cedar City. Southern Utah gets out with a 7-5 to five come from behind win. Three runs in the fifth and sixth innings each. Spencer McLaughlin back with you. Southern Utah head coach Don Don Williams joining me. Coach, just your instant reaction to that one. How, how fast was your heart racing over there oh in the dugout? Oh my dog gosh, out? what a thriller. I mean, uh, great comeback win. It showed a lot of guts. I'm just so proud of, of that team effort. Go back to that seventh inning that we all just watched. Emily Delgado gives up the first single, then the second. Ball squeaks through the legs of Toscano in center. How is a freshman able to come back in that moment and get three outs without recording a run? You know, I think that goes back to that Utah State game. You know, we left her in and she battled that out and we knew we were going to need that in a whack game. And so we just let her stay in that Utah State game. We, we thought, man, that's going to pay off eventually. And we didn't know it was going to be two days later. <laughs> so I think that's was a little bit of that. Yeah. Nicole, but, Nicola Simpson for Seattle U was really good in, in the circle. But finally, you got to her in the fifth. What shifted for your lineup? You know, I think we started laying off the changeup and just uh, getting a little bit more selective and, and getting on time with her. And so I think that was key on getting her out of the lineup. Thunderbirds came into this game with a lot of game two success recently for, for your team. Saturday against Abilene Christian, Tuesday against Utah Tech. What is it about game twos after a game one loss? What does it say about the resiliency of your ball club? You know, they, they just have a lot of uh, – they're resilient. And we, we talk about that all the time is – you know, we don't we don't take anything too personally. We we reflect on our feedback and and our failure, and we just move forward and we win the next pitch and try to stay in the present. And I think that's paying off for us. Finally, in that fifth inning, when your team broke through, it was none other than Mina Becerra, of course, for the three-run homer. Your team couldn't tie it there, but then bottom of the sixth, Ari Miranda. What'd you see in that at bat? You know, she just was so disciplined, and I knew I knew she was uh, hunting her pitch and just got on time um, and delivered a barrel. And uh, she's been doing that all year for us. She's been a little quiet lately, but um, she swung the bat well today. That's What's, why I put her in game two. <laughs> what, 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 what would you say the, the vibe or the mood is right now with the team after this win, beating a team that, you know, going into this one after the game one win was third in conference standings? I think they're feeling really good. I, I think that that's great momentum for us, and we just keep chipping away, you know, and, and getting games when we can get them and, and working towards postseason, and that's ultimately our goal. And so um, I think they're pretty happy. As you look ahead to the rubber match tomorrow, what do you want to see from your team? Well, we're going to have to make some adjustments on uh, Mag Magigil. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, we're going to have to make some adjustments on her and get past her because you know we're going to see her in the circle. So we're going to have to be a little bit more disciplined and a um, little bit more intentional in the box. And then we're going to have to play clean defense. You know, we had some, we had three errors in that first game, I believe. And so we're going to have to uh, clean that defensive um, sets up so we can uh, compete with them. And so tomorrow will be a really good game for us. And we have our alumni event coming up too. So it'll be nice to have our alumni in the stands cheering us on. Well, Coach, thank you for the time. I'll let you go celebrate with your team. Thank you. Go, team.